Hey guys, what's up? This is Jason, the Redhead Henry, and today is the first uh, lesson slash chapter for sprite animating inside of After Effects. So today I'm going to be uh, just going over the basics of uh, the program, kind of showing you guys what does what and what you're going to want to be using um, for the program when you're animating uh, your sprite animations. Also, if you're not into animating inside of After Effects and you're just totally against it or whatever, uh, you should definitely stick around for my later tuts because I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own effects and uh, I'll also be coming out with some uh, custom presets that you guys can uh, use and install in After Effects and you know you guys can expand on the presets or you know create your own presets or effects or whatever and uh, so definitely look out for that. Okay so again today I'm not going to be doing uh, any animating I'm just going to be uh, showing you guys the program and uh, what certain things do. So actually, let me uh, properly introduce you to the program. When you first open the program, this is what it's going to look like. Now, if it's not gray uh, like my screen is, you can actually change the color of the background. You just go up to Edit, Preferences, and Appearance. And then what you can do is you can turn the brightness down. Yours by default, I think, is in the middle right here or something. So you can turn the brightness up or you can turn it down. I, I prefer working with it uh, all dimmed. I don't know why anybody would want to work in After Effects or any program for that matter with everything being this super bright white. But, uh, but that's just me. So uh, once you're done with that, you can just click OK and it'll change the color for you. OK, so just going over some of the basics of the program. Uh, right now I haven't imported anything um, I don't have a composition set up. Um, this is just sort of like a, a blank sleet, if you will. So uh, let's kind of just go over uh, each box, and I'll tell you guys kind of what does what. So right here, whoa, sorry about that. Um, anyway, yeah, so this is your main composition box. This is where you'll, you'll see your uh, main composition, um, or any composition for that matter, whenever you are animating. You'll, you'll see all of your stuff up here. Um, underneath it, this box area right here, is your timeline area. So if you're familiar with Flash, uh, this is where you're going to want to be spending most of all of your time when you're doing your animations. Uh, not really so much uh, doing it up here. You can do it up here, but it doesn't really make sense to. Um, I guess I kind of phrased that wrong. I mean, you could set stuff up here, but when you actually are doing your animating, this is where you're going to be primarily uh, doing it in your timeline. So this box over here um, is your project box, and if you go up to File, Import, this is how you're going to import, or where you will import all of your files, and then they'll all just display right here. And then from there, you'll actually just drag your files down to the timeline, or down, or over to your uh, composition, and then that's where, where they will be displayed. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and then also if you drag them down to your timeline, um, they will uh, just layer on top of each other. So it'll be like, boom, there's one, boom, there's another, there's another. You get the idea. And uh, actually, while we're in this uh, render bar or uh, timeline area, there is actually a render bar right here. It's not here right now, but once you get a layer in there, you'll see it. And uh, that will actually be the bar that you use to render out your uh, composition. So you got to make sure that if you're using the full width of the timeline, that render bar is the full width of the timeline. Or if you're rendering out, say, the first minute of your uh, video, then you want it to cover the first minute. And it also works with the RAM preview. And we'll get into that later, so don't really worry with, about that um, that much right now. Okay, so down here you have your tracker, paragraph, and wiggler tool. Don't really use the tracker that much uh, while I'm animating, nor do I use the paragraph tool, you know, unless I'm using text. The wiggler I do use a lot, and I'll get into that in the next tutorial. Uh, but for now, just know that this is what we're uh, going to be using for your uh, camera shake and also your um, sort of like your camera movement. You can use the camera tool if you're working in 3D space also, but if you're just working in strictly 2D, um, you can use the, the Wiggler works uh, very, very well. And also, if you don't see the Wiggler uh, little box right here, you can go up to Window and then just uh, click on Wiggler and it should appear right up in here. Okay, so right above that, you have your uh, text area with your characters, so you can, you know, choose your text, uh, whatever you wanted to choose. You can uh, choose the scale of your text, um, the color of your text, all of that stuff. 
and right next to it you have your effects and presets. You can also get to your effects by going up to effect and then you can you know choose from here. So if you wanted to say do a color correction you can type in hue and then that's a hue and saturation. You just drop that on whatever layer you want to color correct. And again we'll get into this later. And right above the effects and presets, you have your uh, preview box. This is your RAM preview box. So let's say you're animating and you're like, okay, well, this is awesome. I'm animating inside of After Effects, but how do I preview out what it is I'm doing? Well, that RAM or that uh, render bar I was telling you guys about, you just select what area that you want to see uh, what you're working on, and then you just click this little icon right here, the RAM preview button, and then it will build out the preview for you uh, in your composition screen here. Okay, and above that you have your uh, audio box. Don't really use it that much uh, while I'm animating. Um, I mean, you can import your audio files into your timeline, but uh, I mean, I don't really mess with audio that much or do any audio editing inside of After Effects because, I mean, the program isn't really meant for audio editing. Uh, it's a visual and motion graphic editing program. But, uh, so I don't really mess with that. Uh, also up here you have your uh, toolbar, uh, you know, just your basic arrow, hand, magnifier, rotation, camera, uh, rectangle tool, which is can also be used uh, for masking things out, uh, the pen tool, text tool, brush, clone stamp, eraser, y you get the idea, it's just all your general tools up here. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to set up your compositions. So what you're going to want to do is go up to composition, new composition, you can also hit uh, control N. So I get this little uh, pop-up window here. So we're going to name the composition. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to call this uh, main comp. So now what you're going to want to do is set the width and height of your composition. Now what you can do is you can save your own presets. So you can save out your width and your height. So I have a bunch of uh, presets down here, like for superhero mugs on my other channel, I have one for that. So if I click that preset, I always do those videos in HD or in 720p, so uh, I have my width at 1280 by 720, so that's a 7, uh, 720p uh, HD setting. But just um, for your standard YouTube videos, just regular quality, um, the width is 640 by 360, and you want to make sure that it's locked at a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So if you want to make your own preset for YouTube, uh, make sure you got the 640 width by the 360 height. It's locked at a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And um, actually, this is the wrong preset. Um, locked at 16 by 9 aspect ratio. You want square pixels, and then you want a frame rate of 30 frames uh, per second. Um, you can change it to 25 if you want. I prefer working in 30 frames per second, so uh, that's entirely up to you. Um, and then once you're done with these settings, you just click this little icon right here. And, uh, I believe it'll give you a pop-up box for what you want to name it. So I named mine YouTube Low 30 Frames Per Second. So you get the idea. Um, your resolution, you want full resolution. And your duration, just kind of looking at this, these first two numbers here deal with frames. The next two deal with seconds. The next two deal with minutes. And then the last one deals with hours. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I am going to set up a composition that is one minute in length, or I'm sorry, yeah, one minute in length. And the background color uh, we'll just leave as black. So then you're just going to say OK. And then now what you're seeing is what it did was it created the composition uh, in your uh, composition, like a little stage area. And uh, now if you notice in your timeline, you have your uh, main comp open in your timeline, and it also appears over in your little project library project area. Okay guys, that's all the time I have for today. Um, we will pick up where we left off today in my next tutorial. So uh, make sure that you stick around for that. We're going to be getting into actually doing some animation and some movement with uh, just some shapes and real, real basic stuff before we actually import uh, some sprites and backgrounds and start messing around with that. Because I really want to um, make sure that you guys get uh, a real basic understanding of how the program works and what it can do. So um, actually, it'll probably be the next tutorial will be uh, kind of leaning in that direction, just doing some basic uh, movements and uh, and uh, some motion blur and things like that. And then actually the, tor the tutorial afterwards, hopefully we'll actually be then importing some sprites and some backgrounds and start messing around uh, with actual some actual like Dragon Ball animation stuff. So 
hopefully you guys found this tutorial helpful. Um, again, stick around for my future tutorials, and uh, if you get a chance, definitely start messing around in the program. Uh, that's how I how I learned was just you know I'm self-taught. I just kind of played around in the program a lot and uh, just watched other people's tutorials online. So I mean it's really helpful to uh, to watch other people do it online also. Um, so yeah, if you get it if you get a chance to do that, definitely uh, have a go at. Uh, <laughs> at messing around in After Effects. So I will catch you guys later, and uh, stay tuned for that next tutorial.